Hello and welcome to Blythe Business News. Today I'm joined by Ed Bowery, CEO of Beowulf Mining, and Dmitry Sergeyev, Project Director of Beowulf's wholly owned subsidiary Yokmok Iron Mines AB. Beowulf is listed on the AIM market in London with a ticker of BEM, on the Spotlight Exchange uh, market in Sweden with a ticker of BEO, and Beowulf has a market capitalization of around £15 million. Ed, Dimitro, welcome to the show. Firstly, Ed, can you give us a brief introduction to Beowulf and its portfolio of operations in Europe? Yes, certainly. Good afternoon. Um, so uh, Beowulf, as, as you say, is listed in both London and Sweden. 80% of our register is Swedish based. Um, our, our, one of our assets is uh, Jokmok Iron Mines, and we are developing the Kalak iron ore project in northern Sweden, which has the potential to produce a very high grade iron ore concentrate. Uh, we have a, a graphite business in Finland, Grafintech and are looking to build a downstream processing plant to produce anode material for the lithium-ion battery industry. And our third business is Vardar Minerals, which is focused on exploration in Kosovo. Perfect. Dimitro, you joined the company recently back in May. Can you give the viewers a bit of an overview on your background and experience? Sure. Um, uh, my background is uh, within environmental field. I have uh, two master degrees, uh, one within hydrogeology, another within environmental geochemistry. I also obtained a doctoral uh, degree at uh, Luleå Technical University in Sweden. Um, since 2015, I worked at uh, Sveco, which is an international uh, engineering consultancy firm. Uh, I had various roles focusing on mining environment. Uh, through the years, I worked on most of the mine sites in Scandinavia, uh, some of them operating, some of them closed, uh, and some of them greenfield. Um, in my last role, I focused on building a mine environment team with international profile uh, and um, yeah, uh, basically manage the team, developing my clients and uh, their business. So I believe with that technical and leadership uh, background, I can uh, contribute to a constructive and inclusive uh, development of the Calic project. And can you tell us a bit more about uh, operations at Calac and your plans to progress the project? Sure. Um, Calac is a, a fantastic project posing significant, significant importance to the region and to the local community, as well as the market. Um, from technical perspective, it's, uh, it is rather simple. Uh, we are looking at an open pit operation with, uh, you know, conventional uh, processing and um, uh, it has um, very close vicinity to infrastructure in a region with very significant large scale mining. So there is a lot of expertise and experience um, for decades uh, doing this type of, uh, of business. Um, you may have heard about ITIC, uh, the Europe's largest uh, open pit mine uh, operated by Bulidan and um, uh, some underground mines in Malmberet and Kiruna operated by LKB. Um, they're just at our door doorstep. The environmental uh, permitting uh, process is very rigorous in Sweden, um, and uh, we, of course, have some additional sensitivity around uh, rain herding, which we take very seriously and work hard to engage with uh, uh, involved uh, summer villages. We also have a very experienced support in these questions. Um, the last achievements is uh, uh, probably to mention the UNESCO delegation meeting uh, at the end of May. Um, and uh, I think at this, at this point in time, we have a rather good understanding of, you know, the project's complexity to uh, enable, um, yeah, to minimize and mitigate both social and environmental um, consequences of the planned operation. Uh, at, the, at this point in time, our major priority is, of course, to continue build local relationships uh, with all engaged uh, stakeholders uh, and advance technical and environmental studies. Another forward-thinking move uh, is, that we're busy at the moment is uh, actually expanding our team on-site in Yokmok, and uh, we're closely looking at it. Thank you. I mean, it seems like a, a lot of potential down in Calac. Um, Ed, Dimitro mentions the significance of the project. Can you expand a bit more on that significance of Calac, particularly in terms to uh, green steel supply and a steel supply chain for Europe? 
Uh, absolutely. So the, the steel industry accounts for about 7% of global CO2 emissions. Um, green steel is essentially uh, using uh, or, or not using coal to reduce the iron ore. So you can significantly reduce the, the CO2 emissions by up to 95%. Uh, the one thing about uh, green steel production is it requires very high grade concentrate with low impurities. Uh, and Kalak uh, fits into that uh, very well. Uh, in fact, Sweden has a lot of uh, high grade magnetite ore, uh, so, and, and, and Kalak is similar uh, in, in characteristics of that. So um, it, it, it can play a very significant role in, in, in the green steel industry and in decarbonizing the, 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 the steel sector. Um, we have just, uh, Demetra and I have just been to the Fast Markets Iron Ore and Green Steel Conference, and we received a lot of interest from off-takers, traders, um, and, and other parties that are interested in green steel, and specifically in the product that we can produce. Um, it, we anticipate that we will produce a market-leading uh, high-grade, low-impurity concentrate. So, so it, is, it is very significant in that regard. Thank you. Dimitro, finally, what can viewers expect to see from Jokmok Iron in the coming months? Um, I guess in um, uh, the coming couple of months, we will, uh, of course, follow up on the results of the metallurgical testing that uh, everyone was waiting for. We will also loop our latest data from hydrogeological work in our technical and environmental work streams. Um, another important cornerstone of the project is design of, of our tailing storage facility which we're currently actively working on. Um, it is important to understand also that Jokmo Iron Mines uh, is committed to follow both national regulations and international um, uh, best practice. That is why uh, we are um, doing the design work that follows the framework of the uh, GSTM, Global Industry Standards for Telex Management. On the stakeholder engagement, uh, we engage with affected summer villages and, uh, and um, yeah, of course, natural are underway of developing the necessary impact assessments. And I think also important to mention uh, one of the uh, important milestones that is underway during this upcoming months is uh, uh, public consultation, which is uh, an important piece in uh, um, completing the environmental permit application. Well, it seems like there's a lot to look forward to in the in the coming months. Thank you both for joining me. That was Ed Bowie, CEO of Bell of Mining, and Dimitro Sergeyev, Pro Project Director of uh, Yokmok Iron. Thank you for watching.